Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today, I'll begin with a look at another figure from episode 3. And the figure I've got for you today is this guy. It is the Combat Engineer. And the first time we see this guy is halfway through episode 3 where Obi-Wan Kenobi, Mace Windu and Master Yoda are on a gunship escorting Master Yoda to a Star Destroyer full of a battalion of clone troopers that are being sent to the planet Kashyyyk to aid the Wookiees in their fight against the droids. We see these for about 10 seconds and the job that these clone troopers are, obviously they're engineers, they're making sure that all the weapons and all the ships are working and also to repair them is something um, bad happens so if you haven't seen the episode or the scene watch the uh, watch them um, on the figure itself as you see the combat engineer does come with a ball jointed head ball jointed shoulders and elbows swivel wrists ball jointed knees and swivel ankles it does come with a DC 15 carbine cast in a black plastic like so also with this combat engineer, he does come with a removable helmet. As you see this is the uh, combat engineer's helmet. As you see it's got brown markings on the top like so. And just at the side there and there. Um, this helmet's alright, it's one of the older helmets that Hasbro released. Back in 2006 it does, it's a squidgy helmet which is okay. But it does fit fit the uh, head sculpt reasonably well. So that's the helmet for you. Here's a look at the clone trooper. As you see, uh, this is the clone trooper's head. As you see, it's got a black sculpt for his hair. And it's a decent sculpt that Hasbro have done. And as you see, if you just put the helmet on, it fits perfectly. Um, also with the figure, it does come with brown markings to mark the combat engineer's regiment like so. It does come with on the, uh, just above the chest and the stomach and the right and left thigh. And overall, this is a decent figure. I managed to pick this guy up in my local Toys R Us store for £6, which is very reasonable for a combat engineer. And if you haven't added his guy to a collection, find him and add him to a collection. So I'd just like to say, thanks for watching guys. Thanks for taking some of your time to watch my reviews. I'll be back with many more very soon. As always, keep collecting and may the force be with you.